reflecting on goals. I shared my 2021 language learning goals and it was Portuguese and Vietnamese. So in this video, I'd like to show you my routine of studying two languages at the same time, Portuguese and Vietnamese. Since I'm not majoring in languages, but I'm still so busy with so many works of my another major as a master's student, I cannot input so much time every day for studying languages. For me, language learning is what keeps me motivated and what I do because I simply really love it. So this is how I plan my weekly studying schedule. I set four days a week for language learning, two days for Portuguese and the other two days for Vietnamese. One hour or one hour and a half each time. I try not to set the study days for one language in a row because that way it will be more than a week to recover and study on next week if I study only one language for two days in a row. So I set the study time of the other language in between so that I can study constantly without much time interval. It could have been better if I can input more time, but I can't. I realistically can't. I should be responsible for my first job of master student of the other major. And I think most of you also have got other responsibilities that come first, your work or your other major. Don't forget that language learning is not the short time subject to finish with an exam. Consistency is the most important key, even if the improvement seems too slow for not putting that much time or for not putting that much studying time. Okay, then let me share my studying routine of Portuguese with you guys first. I bought this book to start studying from scratch. Oh, for those who might wonder, I'll study the Brazilian version of Portuguese. This is quite related to my personal motivation of why I've made up my mind to start studying Portuguese. I'm a master student of Latin American studies, and I'm also thinking of being able to go to uh, Universidade de São Paulo during my last semester for my thesis research. So I thought the Brazilian version of Portuguese will be more suitable for my personal motivation and needs. So that's why I've decided to study the Brazilian version of Portuguese. And that's why I bought this book. On the left page, brief explanation and simple sentences are provided. And on the right page, practice questions are provided. I don't find the grammar difficult, even if it's explained all in Portuguese in this book, because the concept is basically the same as Spanish. I just try to be more cautious of the different forms and not to be confused or mixed with Spanish. I study the grammar for an hour by myself. My legs! And on the other day, mostly on Saturdays, I practice speaking and writing with my friend from Brazil. She's my colleague in my master's program, and we exchanged the language courses because she's now learning Chinese, Mandarin Chinese, and thinking of starting Korean on next semester when we have more time than now. So she teaches me Portuguese for an hour, and for another hour, I teach her Mandarin Chinese. I write a simple text of any topic I freely choose and send it to her to revise. And during the class, we talk in Portuguese and she revises me some errors I've made when, when I speak Portuguese. Oh, we do this online because we were so much worried about the COVID-19, but we hope we can do this in person uh, so soon, maybe in next semester. Então, a contagem está bem menor do que aqui. Parece que lá a segunda onda já, já passou. Já. Em viajar mais, uh, havia restrições e também segundo datas ou as restrições para entrar, para voltar a sala. Then, here comes my Vietnamese study routine these days. I used to focus more on speaking section when in Korea. I think you'll know this if you've seen my last Vietnamese study log in Korea. I used to practice Vietnamese speaking with a Vietnamese tutor by phone because Vietnamese speaking is especially so difficult for me. However, since I'm no longer in Korea, I had to change my studying routine and focus on the other sections as well. My Vietnamese studying goal for now is not to aggressively improve it, but to escalate it to the robust intermediate level and keep the intermediate level. There weren't many books or study material options when it comes to the above beginners level of Vietnamese. 
So I chose this intermediate Vietnamese study book in a bookstore in Korea. This is explained in Korea and this is for the Vietnamese learners of the Korean nationals. This is for the intermediate level. I study one chapter per week and each chapter includes the listening, reading and grammar sections. So I divide the sections into two days to finish one chapter in a week. I first learn new expressions and the grammar that come out in one chapter for one day. And then I just follow the practice questions provided on the book on the other day. I found out that I'm not so good at Vietnamese listening on my last Vietnamese proficiency test I took in Korea. So I put one day, which is one hour or an hour and a half only in studying listening section. An hour and a half just passes so fast when I go through the listening practice steps of one chapter. Listening on and on with word check and sentence check. Cũng ngồi ở một quán cà phê vỉa hè Sài Gòn thì chỉ trong 10 phút là bạn có thể thấy được số xe hàng loạt xe máy. Người ta tự hỏi, vì sao ở Việt Nam đi lại thuận tiện hơn? Mà còn là một công cụ để kinh doanh, kiếm sống. Nó cũng là... And I go read the script to check the words I don't know. Wow, quite a lot. And then I list up all those words to memorize. The words and the meaning. Ngạc nhiên. Ngạc nhiên. And how it's read as well. I repeat after the sound. Tràn ngập. Tràn ngập. My legs! This is how I study two languages, Portuguese and Vietnamese at the same time these days. Learning two languages at the same time doesn't confuse me at all because they don't have anything in common. Their grammar, word roots, or any parts are not much in common. I shared my thoughts of learning two or more languages at the same time on the other video before, so check it out if you wonder. It's been only more than a month learning Portuguese, but I actually find it much easier to learn than Vietnamese because I have the Spanish and French base and it's quite similar and it really helped me in learning Portuguese much faster. When I try to speak or write the Portuguese words or phrases, I first think in Spanish. But I'm so excited and motivated to learn Portuguese and be able to speak it quite proficiently soon. I can't make much time in learning it in this semester, but I think I can make more time in learning it next year. So my goal for next year is to finish the grammar book I'm learning and to be able to elevate the quality of freely speaking and writing class with my friend. Compared to Portuguese that I learned only for a month, my Vietnamese proficiency is stuck to the, to the intermediate low level for quite a long time, but I'm not upset because I couldn't put so much time in learning it for those crazily huge changes in my life. I'll not rush myself, I'll just keep studying with the intermediate book according to my weekly studying schedule and I'll be satisfied with elevating my listening which was the weakest part for me. So every one of you have distinctly different jobs and lifestyle. I know it's sometimes so hard to input so much time in language learning. And some of you might be able to put much time in learning your target languages because you're studying them as your major, or some of you might find it realistically difficult to make time. I totally understand it. As you saw, I cannot make so much time in learning languages either, but the key is to constantly learn it, even if it's only for less than an hour per week. Okay, so this is it for my study log of learning two languages at the same time this time. And hope you liked it and study languages together with me. So I'll be back with another one next time. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.